Hello, I'm Peter Towers, Managing Director of ESS BizTools. Welcome to this update on business advisory services. Innovation. This is an important subject for accountants and bookkeepers and business advisors to be thinking about with your clients. How many of your clients are undertaking innovation? What's included in innovation? I think innovation covers the journey from research and development and making sure that your clients, if they're undertaking research activities that they believe are going to generate a worthwhile product, process or service for their business, you need to make sure that they're incorporated as a company because you have to be a company to be able to claim the research and development incentive rebate. And then they obviously need to keep the records in accordance with the legislation. The next stage of the innovation uh, journey can be trying to determine whether a client meets the eligibility requirements for the accelerating commercialization grant. This process normally commences when the prototype has been completed and is to help fund the significant costs that businesses that wish to commercialize their innovation face. The grant from the government is up to $1 million on a 50% basis. So that gives you an idea of the uh, problem that the government acknowledges that people who have developed new products, processes, or services face in getting that new product into the marketplace. And then we have the early stage innovation companies. Thankfully, a few years ago, the government acknowledged that young companies had significant difficulties in attracting funding. And for this reason, they created this status of a company of being an early stage innovation company. The young company can raise capital, but the real beneficiary is the people who invest in the, into that company because they can obtain attractive income tax benefits. I think this is information that every accountant, no matter if you're only operating a traditional tax return preparation practice or you are committed to business advisory services, should understand. Because research and development expenditure claim for the research and development incentive rebate is within the Income Tax Act. And it's within the Income Tax Act that the status of early stage innovation company has been created. So this is taxation area. For those of you who only want to be involved in taxation issues. So I want to come to a webinar on Thursday, the 29th of July at 12 noon AEST. Invest 60 minutes of your time, and I think you'll find it very beneficial for the information which you will then have, which you can utilize to communicate with your clients, whether you're committed to business advisory services or you want to remain as a specialist tax return preparation firm. I look forward to talking to you then. Have a great day. Goodbye.